In order for electricity to flow through a circuit, the flow of electrons must be strong enough to overcome the resistance of the circuit. Resistance opposes the flow of electricity and consumes power in the circuits by converting electrical energy into heat. Resistance is measured in units called ohms. Conductors, such as copper and gold, have low resistance. Insulators, such as glass and rubber, have very high resistance. The flow of electricity is measured in amperes, or amps. Amps measure the number of electrical charges, or coulombs, that pass a given point in the wire each second. If a wire has one coulomb of electrons flowing through it per second, we say it is carrying a current of one amp. The amp is named after the French scientist André Ampere, who studied the relationship between electricity and magnetism. Ohms are named after the German scientist George Ohm, who discovered a relationship between electric current, voltage, and resistance in a circuit. Ohm found that as the voltage of a circuit is increased, the amount of current flowing through that circuit is also increased. For instance, if you double the voltage in a circuit by doubling the number of batteries to that circuit, the voltage is doubled and the amount of current in the circuit is also doubled. Thus, electric current is directly proportional to voltage. The amount of resistance in a circuit determines how much current can be passed through it. As voltage increases, the current increases more steeply in a circuit having lower resistance. The current flowing through a circuit is therefore inversely proportional to the resistance in the circuit.